Hello and welcome to a special installment of Ground Pound Week 5 Recap. I'm Mike Davies and just because we're not in the studio does not mean we are not doing hard intense research. So let's get started with the best game. I'm giving it to the Green Bay Packers versus the Washington Redskins. It was an overtime thriller where Aaron Rodgers was throwing 290 yards and a touchdown but a very costly interception because this interception he threw may cause him a few weeks down the road because of that horrible concussion that he suffered. Now on the other hand, Donovan McNabb threw 357 yards and really got to Santana Moss. They connected very well and that's one of the reasons why they stayed in this game. McNabb is proving that he is the leader of this team and with the way he's going, the Washington Redskins should be a team to look out for down the road. In other news in this game, Brendan Jackson had 115 yards rushing, which is his first 100 yard rushing game of his career. And I think the Packers should be going to him more because of how he's doing. Let's move to the biggest fail now, and it's obviously going to go to the San Diego Chargers. Now, they didn't have a lead in this game at all, because the Raiders really surprisingly dominated this game. And when you look at the statistics of this game, you see that Phillip Rivers has f over 400 yards, and he's making every fantasy owner happy. The problem is that this isn't a team. You look at the statistics, they show you one thing, but then you look at the win column and they are 2-3 and three right now in a struggling AFC West. Surprisingly, the Chiefs are still in first at 3-1. and one. Let's move now to most surprising, and I'm going to give it to Max Hall's Cardinals. And no one expected this guy to do that well, and surprisingly enough, he was able to lead the Cardinals to beat the Saints 30-20. to 20. And he went in there, did his job, and only threw one interception, but he recovered from that after the first possession. And on the other end of that, Dominique rogers Cromartie had a great interception, 30-yard interception return for a touchdown that really sealed the deal for that game and showed that the Cardinals were a team to look out for. Now, Beanie Wells only had less than 50 yards, so I think they really need to bring him back into this game. But they have a bye week next week, so there'll be a team to look out for down the road. Now let me give out my game ball to Matt Forte of the Chicago Bears. He had 166 yards and two touchdowns versus the Carolina Panthers. Now the Panthers aren't anything to write home about being 0-5. But the point is that with Jay Cutler out for this game, Todd Collins was able to hand it off to Matt Forte, and he took care of the rest. Averaging 7.5 yards a carry, any team with those numbers is going to get the win. Anyway, that was the Week 5 recap, and stay tuned 12.30 on Sundays for your Ground Pound Expert Analyst.